Hi, this is Professor Mendez Escobar here, and this is another video in the video series Interpreting Child Observations. In this video, I'll be going over how to interpret or making interpretations about social emotional development. Let's get started. As you might recall, social emotional development refers to the continuous interaction between the social environment biological determinations, and internal representations of life. So it's this continuous interaction between the individual, their, in, in, their environment, and biology. But more important, what's happening within the environment. This allows us to express emotions, it influences personality development, and interactions with others. So social emotional development is this continuous interaction between these different components of the self and the environment that then has a direct influence in how we express emotions, how we develop our personality, and then how we interact with others. Some theories to consider within the social emotional development domain is that of Erickson's theory of psychosocial development and Parton's types of play. Some concepts, there are many, these are just some, might include temperament, and that has more to do with the biological determinations, right? Temperament is something that is innate, but then has a direct influence in how um, young children interact with their environment. Also, emotion regulation, you know, trying to determine when to express which emotions, gender roles, and identity formation. These are just some of the many concepts that fall within this domain. What you want to do when you are going to write or make your interpretations about social emotional development, you want to have observation. So again, pause this video click the link below so that you can watch this full video. If you've already watched this video, um, this op done this observation in prior videos that I've done, then you can watch it again, but focus and make your observations on the social emotional domains, domain. After you watch the video observation, some questions that you might have are, which theory best explains the observation and what are other concepts that might be relevant here based on the child observation that you just watched part in types of play is a relevant theory here in this case we see the children engaging in collaborative play in which they share the toys and they also have a shared goal in this case the shared goal is create a train track, put all the pieces together um, to create that track. Another thing that is relevant here or a concept is reenacting life in play themes. In the instance when the baby was sleeping, you need to be quiet um, and put this over the baby. These are things that one of these children probably saw in real life and they started learning about this is how we interact with babies. So they're reenacting life in their play themes. So when you're writing your interpretation, you want to make sure that you quickly recap the observation in two to three sentences and that your focus of your interpretation is on explaining and applying the theory, in this case, Parton's types of play and explaining and applying a relevant concept, in this case, reenacting life in play themes, all for the goal of showing your evidence of understanding of course content, because that's why you write interpretations of child observations. And the way that you show evidence of understanding is by using terms, explaining the terms, citing your references, and focusing your writing on the writing prompt. So that concludes this video. Make sure that you watch the other videos in the in this series so that you can better learn how to write interpretations about child observation. Catch you in another video.